this is a model of a single muscle cell or a myofiber. So it's just a portion. Uh, students often get confused about what uh, the model is. It's not a fascicle. So this would be the endomysium. Underneath it would be the sarcolemma, which is the plasma membrane of the muscle cell. We have a motor neuron coming in here. It's myelinated. You can see the myelin sheath. Uh, at the synaptic end bulb, uh, we see lots of little vesicles filled up with uh, acylcholine, the neurotransmitter, the only uh, neurotransmitter used at the neuromuscular junction. And it's released through exocytosis, which takes energy, so you see lots of mitochondria indicating that. As it's released, it diffuses across this little gap here, the synaptic cleft, to the other side. The other side is on the muscle. This is the, called the motor end plate. Uh, they don't show the receptors here, but there are receptors for acylcholine on this side. When acylcholine binds, it actually opens up sodium-gated channels. Sodium ions rush in then because they're in greater concentration outside than inside. A short time later, uh, there would be uh, opening of potassium-gated channels and potassium would rush out, re uh, polarizing the membrane. But the sodium rushing in depolarizes the membrane. And that spreads along the surface of the muscle cell. When it gets to the T-tubules, it goes in deep inside the cell and um, depolarizes the membrane here as well. So what we're seeing here is the, the transverse tubules carrying the message deep inside. Uh, you notice here and here are what we call the terminal cisterns of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So we have calcium ions stored here. When the message gets deep inside, then the calcium is released. Now, there is an error, I think, in the um, uh, information that comes with this, so be careful. This should be the dark band, the A band. This should be the I band. At the junction of the A and I is where you find the T-tubules and skeletal muscles. The Z-disc would be in this area right here.